Squid Game, the show that makes Takeshi's castle look like an absolute cakewalk. Hey guys, welcome to my Squid Game TV review. It's a show that has been released on Netflix and I'm a little bit late to the party because everybody's talking about it. So I had to figure out what the big deal was. Don't you hate it a little bit when everyone's talking about a show like, oh, have you seen Breaking Bad? Have you not seen Game of Thrones? Have you not seen Squid Game? And I haven't, so I'm a little bit late and I didn't want to get caught up in the hype, but I wanted to see why people are raving about it, why people are saying the show is really controversial. What is the big deal? So yeah, I finally watched it and I'm here to tell you what I think about it. Let me give you a very, very quick plot outline. Hundreds of cash strapped contestants accept an invitation to compete in children's games for a tempting prize, but these stakes are deadly. Deadly. I feel like deadly is putting it mildly. Well, yeah, it's deadly. I've got to be honest and say it up front, even if you turn the review off right now, the show is brilliant. You need to watch the show. It's not for everyone. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea because it's bloody, it's gory, it's violent, it's unsettling, it's unnerving but it's a fantastic show. And yes, it's about games, but you can dig deeper because there's a lot of deeper themes that the show looks at. The first episode was a fantastic episode, a really strong start. And when you've got a strong beginning, it offers a lot of promise for what is down the line. We're introduced to our main character who is a nice guy, but he's a Tim, nice but dim kind of guy. He doesn't appear to be working and he needs money for his daughter's birthday present. So what does he do when he gets hold of a bit of cash? He goes to the racetrack and he gambles it away. He also appears to be at the mercy of loan sharks, so he needs to pay these loan sharks back lots of money. So when he hears about the opportunity to get involved in these games, he sees it as an opportunity to win a large amount of cash. It's only when he gets to the games that he realizes, hang on a minute, this is a bad situation because I thought we'd just play some really simple games and we could win some money. And in that first episode, when you realize how high the stakes are, you've got this thing in your stomach where you go, Oh, this is horrible. And it's actually quite shocking to watch as well. I'm used to, you know, violence on screen, but somehow because it seemed to be a children's game that you're playing, but you could meet a, a horrific end, it, it just felt a bit more shocking and a bit more gutting. The show introduces us to our primary key characters in a really interesting way. We know that everyone's involved in this game for a reason because they all need cash, but we get to see what their lives are like outside of the games. And you know, sometimes a show can introduce you to a lot of characters, then it can do flashbacks to say, hey, well, this is what it was like before they entered the game. This is why they're involved. And they can do it in a way that sometimes feels a bit cheesy. It does it really well in this show that doesn't feel forced or contrived or anything like that. What this series does really well is it demonstrates how desperate some people must be to get themselves out of a really bad financial situation. How desperate you must be to literally play a game which is life or death because maybe on the outside of these games your financial situation is also life and death when you've got debt collectors, bailiffs, uh, loan sharks coming after you. How desperate must you be to be more willing to play those games than take your chances out in the world? I mean, if it was me after game number one, I think I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, this ain't for me. I'm going to take my chances and I'm, I, I owe them money and I'll pay them back. There's one character in this whose situation is so bad that it's almost like it's safer for him to be playing the squid games than it is for him to be out on the street. I want to say that the show was enjoyable, but enjoyable feels like the wrong word because it was unnerving. It was unsettling. Whenever a game was coming up, I was nervous. I wasn't looking forward to the game because I know the consequences of what could happen to the contestants was really scary and really horrendous. I mean, I'm not going to say a lot about the games, but all I can say personally is I don't think I'll ever look at Tug of War in the same way. I don't think I want to play Tug of War for a good 10 years now. I thought all the performances were great, really strong characters, really good cast. If there were any weaknesses, I would say in the latter stages, there are some English speaking characters that maybe weren't as good, a little bit more like caricatures, but really well acted, really well directed, really well produced. It was unsettling when it needed to be unsettling. It was slow when it needed to be slow. It was really well paced and it was really well written. Having watched the nine episodes, I feel like this is one of the best shows I've seen this year. And as a nine episode show, I think as a standalone show, it's fantastic. 
we may end up with a season two of Squid Game. I think, you know, it's one of those things when a show does really well, the powers that be think, well, should we make another season? Let's That could be successful as well. Let's keep going with it. I don't think this needs a second season. I think leave it where it is. There's the door open to another season. But I think let this stand as it is, because I think as a standalone nine episode season, this was absolutely fantastic. So my official Marcus Loves Movies rating for Squid Game season one, and I hope we just get one season, is, mini drum roll, five stars. So I obviously enjoyed it and I want to recommend it to other people, but I know it's not for everyone. It's not some people's cup of tea. So I would love to know what you think about Squid Game. Did you enjoy it? Were there episodes that stood out for you? Were there games that stood out for you? Or were there things that you really didn't like about it? Please leave a comment in the comment section. Give the video a like. And if you like movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, film discussion, please, please, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I release a brand new video. Show me some love, yo. Thanks for watching my Squid Game season review. Please check out the next video I release and I will see you again soon. So until then, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.